Hi everyone, my name is Heather Njuguna, a pharmacist here in Kenya. I graduated pharmacy school over 10 years ago, so I have quite a bit of experience. And this is the experience that I used to get points for my application, as I'm going to tell you a little bit later on. So my journey to Australia started at the end of January 2023 when I submitted my documents for skills assessments. Um, then thereafter, at the beginning of February, um, enrolled with elite expertise for me now to start preparing for my CAPS exam. Because they advised us that considering how broad the syllabus is and the much that needed to be covered, it was best to start preparing early. One did not have to wait until they had results from the, or the response from the skills assessment for them to start preparing. I continued to prepare for my exams until I received my response for the skills assessment, then registered for the exam, sat for the exam in July, got my results, positive of course, in mid-August, then thereafter sat for IELTS, got 7.5, which was not satisfactory for me because I needed more points. Um, a bit older and the older you are the less points that you get so i tried else again got 7.5 again and this time now i decided to try pte and when i sat for pte i was fortunate enough to get superior english which gave me 20 points it's at that point that i now lodged my applications my expression of interest to all the seven states so I did that on the first week of September. On 11th October 2023, I received a communication from South Australia that had been nominated to apply for Visa 491 with their states. And that is what I did. I did this immediately. Then on 30th October 2023, they got back to me. There's something that they, that they needed me to change on my expression of interest that I do to lodge that particular application. I did that immediately. Then the following day, which was on 31st October 2023, I received communication that I could now go ahead and apply for my visa 491. It took a bit of time for me to apply for my visa because there are certain documents that were required for my application that I did not have at the time. For example, um, I needed to submit a police uh, clearance certificate, which I did not have, and here in our country, that takes a bit of time, among other documents. But finally, I was able to apply for my visa on 28th of November, 2023. After submitting my application, they got back to me and um, gave me letters or posted letters in my account that I was going to use to go for my medical test as well as biometrics. It was not immediate for me because it takes time to get an appointment with those places that carry out those tests. So because of that, uh, it took a bit of time for me. So um, after a while, I went for my medical test, submitted my biometrics, then after that, there was still a little bit of back and forth because the case officer that was assigned to me needed more documents to support my case. For example, he needed bank statements. Um, he also asked for some recommendation letters. He asked for my pay slips, among many other documents. And for this process, I would advise anyone that they make sure that they submit whatever is requested for as soon as possible so that your, your case progresses quickly. The longer you take, the longer it takes for your case to progress. Um, I thank God that after all this, on the 14th of February, which was on Valentine's Day, uh, 2024, I received communication that my visa 491 for South Australia had been granted. So currently I am uh, working on applying for my provisional license and looking for internships and then hoping to move soon.